مرحبا يا شباب ومرحبا يا صبايا كيفكن؟ شو أخباركن؟ مبسوطين؟ إن شاء الله بخير شو في ما في؟ شو كو ما كو؟ بتمنى لكم يوم حلو وين ما كنتوا بهالدنيا الجو لسه بارد ونحنا عم نستنى فصل الربيع لحتى يجي مشان نتشمس يعني أنا ناقصني فيتامين دي عن جد عم حس حالي كتير تعبان خلال اليوم بفكر عندي مشكلة مع الفيتامين دي إن شاء الله الشمس بتجي وباخد فيتامين دي طبيعي Today I'm going to introduce you to a new concept This concept is the pronunciation exercises I think this is a very important for any student whether you are a beginner intermediate or even advanced so I decided to create certain episodes that I'm going to add to my patreon page in addition to the storytelling I'm doing the verb conjugation the Arabic phrases and the vocabulary lists and other you know concept I will keep adding I want to make a patreon page a place where you can come and find the thing the the area that you are weak the most and improve it and fix it so that's what I would like to tackle um, in uh, my program so I prepared 60 most confusing Arabic words you should know I am going to mention 30 of them today and if you want the rest with the PDF and the Arabic writing and the English translation you can go to Patreon page and join me thank you very much for all who supported me and joined my page already وخلينا نبلش The first word is Jum'a Jum'a which means Friday so it's a ja ma a and tamar bota Jum'a Now let's compare it with another word that is similar Jam'a which means mosque Jam'a can you see the difference? Jum'a Jam'a Again, you can repeat after me Jum'a Jam'a Pay attention to the long vowels This is the key You need to pay attention to the short vowels and the long vowels I understand that in your language you don't have this extension You can't say like, uh, you know university you know you cannot do that so it's a bit weird for you but in arabic it's normal we extend stuff and we shorten stuff at the same time so we have jumma friday jama mosque we also have jama which means university jama ends with Tamar Buta so again Jum'a Jam'a Jam'a make sure to repeat after me it's a pronunciation exercise okay the next one is Kalb dog Kalb with a K but then we have Qalb which means heart Qalb or in uh, spoken we don't need to pronounce the qaf we say alb so kalb qalb or alb make sure you repeat kalb qalb mumtaz the next one is mashi mashi with an alif so meme alif shin ya mashi which means okay, mashi, mashi, mashi. 
ماشي The next one is Masha So Masha, he walked To walk There is no long vowel There's a short vowel after the ma So Mashi Masha Mashi Masha The next one Hamal 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 He carried Hamal And then we have Hamil Hamil Which means pregnant You see the confusion here? So Hamal He carried Hamil Pregnant Again, this is because of the long vowels and the short vowels Very important you pay attention at the short vowels and long vowels at the start of learning Arabic Next one Katab He wrote Katab Katab And then we have Katib Writer Katib I am intentionally extending the long vowel So make sure you repeat that So we have Katab Katib Next one Daras Daras He studied Daras And then we have Daris He have studied Daris So Daras Daris Okay The next one Amal Amal He did Amal And we have Amal Worker Amal 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 After the Ain there is an Alif A long vowel Next one Zer Patin Zer And then we have Zur I visit Zur Tamam So Zer Zur The next one is a bit confusing Sha'ar Sha'ar means hair Sha'ar There is two fathas On the sha' on the a But the next one Sha'ar Poetry This is so confusing I can imagine how difficult for you guys to learn Arabic Sha'ar Poetry Okay So Sha'ar Sha'ar Here we are just shifting in short vowels Baden, we have Rah Rah means it's a tool to indicate the future tense like Rah Shuf Rah There is no Alif, there is only Fatha Rah And then we have Rah He went Rah He went Rah Rah Make sure you repeat This is a pronunciation exercise Ya jama'a, ya shabab Baden, we have Walad Boy Walad Boy So wa la Walad And then we have Walad He was born Walad So there's two kasras Walad Walad Next one Faras Horse Faris Night Faris Night The next one is Ain I Ain A Ain And then we have Ayan Ayan He appointed He appointed Ayan And the Next one is very confusing for you, Shabab. Taban, tired. Taban, and then we have Taban, of course. Ta, Taban. See, it's very similar. Taban, Taban. The only difference we have the Ta in Taban and the Ta, and of course. 
and the ending, the sound is the same, but the writing is different. Noon versus Tanween. Taban, Taban. Tamam. So now I'm going to repeat this again to you. So just listen and pay attention to the long vowels and the short vowels. And I hope it will become much clearer for you. Jumma, Jama, Jama, Kelb, Kalb, Mashi, Masha, Hamel, Hamel, Katab, Katib, Daras, Daris, Amel. عامل زر زور شعر شعر رح راح ولد ولد فرس فارس عين عين تعبان طبعا تمام so if you want the rest, you're going to find it in the Patreon page, Learn Arabic with Khalid. There is a link underneath this uh, episode. You just click on it and it takes you to the Patreon page. Again, I advise you to pay attention and practice all the time on the difference between the short vowels and the long vowels. Important to read out loud. Even if you are reading one of my transcript stories, make sure you are reading it out loud. Make sure you are also listening how I am saying the word and then you are imitating that. Tamam? المرة الجاية يا جماعة من